Thank you very much. Thank you. Good night. Nice to see so many of you again. My task is to introduce the candidates from the north and from the east of Dominica. Born and proudly raised in Dallas, this powerful lady is the embodiment of the mantra to work hard and follow your dreams, but never forget where you came from. Her love for helping people has motivated her to answer the call to raise the standard of representation in the constituency. Ladies and gentlemen of Laplin, you are in the caring hands of a doctor who is passionate about touching lives, a doctor who is literally devoted to saving lives, a doctor who is now intent on focusing all her attention on taking Laplin to the next level. Welcome Dr. Cassandra Williams, a breath of fresh air, and without a doubt, the best choice to take Laplin forward. Dr. Williams. As the daughter of a political giant, service is in her blood. So it is no surprise she has accomplished so much over the last three years. But I must make special mention of her accomplishments within her constituency. We saw the handing over of, of homes to over 60 residents. The completion of renovation works on the school. The completion of drainage works, which provides safety to the residents. The provision of proper water supply for the people of Grand Form, And the commencement of works in the Monjon Heights. Ladies and gentlemen, Greta Roberts, the best choice for Monjon, River Siric, and Grand Form. Greta is, not, Greta is not physically with us tonight because she has an activity with her young people in her constituency tonight. As recently as last month, she worked tirelessly to ensure the people of her constituency were counted as safe after the natural disaster. In times of need, she has always stood up to help others. Having delivered on her hurricane shelter in the southeastern district, as well as 50 climate resilient homes, it should come as no surprise that the people of Cassibrus constituency only want one lady to be the pal rep. So let us welcome Octavia Alfred to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Jehovah's here. Jehovah, you. Say it. It is perhaps no secret, and it is perhaps fitting, that the next young man first made his name as a historian and researcher, because he has since etched his own name in our history's pages. When the Kalnago people needed a leader, Kozia Frederick stepped up to fight for the Kalnago people. Come Tuesday, he will continue to serve them in the House of Parliament. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome him on stage, Kozia Frederick. This next gentleman is still as popular today as he was during his days as a Calypso King. He has dedicated his entire life 
to representing Dominica in various ways, various ways. And from Tuesday onward, he will be officially representing the constituency of Barrigat in the House of Assembly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Gregory Caressa Rivera. <laughs> The next, the next young man I'll welcome on stage served as a manager at the National Bank of Dominica. While he may have excelled in accounting, his first passion has always been serving the people of his constituency. So when duty called, he answered. Ladies and gentlemen, give a warm welcome to Darren Pinard the new parliamentary representative for the Polio constituency. Let's go! Forward we go! Forward we go! Forward we go! Forward we go! For years, the constituency has played a vital role in the economic landscape of Dominica, dating back to the pre- and post-colonial days. Labeled as the capital of the North by many, this part of the island has endless potential in various sectors. So much so that many call it a sleeping giant. Our next candidate in the December 6th general elections is intent on awakening the giant. Constituents of Portsmouth Welcome your next parliamentary representative, Finella Wenham. It says, it says a lot about this young man. When I say that I am confident the standard of excellent service in his constituency won't drop. This is because he has already served as a public officer for over 20 years with distinction in various sectors, including agriculture, tourism, and infrastructural development. Ladies and gentlemen, citizens of Dominica, labor rights, constituents of cottage, his love of community, respect for all, integrity, humility, and perseverance are the core values that make Roland Roy the best choice for cottage. Welcome him, ladies and gentlemen. Twenty twenty two has been a marvelous year for the young lady I'm about to introduce. Before she put her hand up to serve in Parliament, she earned Dominica's twenty twenty two Female of the Year, the Outstanding Youth in Entrepreneurship, and the National Youth Leader of the Year Awards at the National Youth Awards Ceremony. At just 23 years old, Lakia Joseph will now be officially serving as the parliamentary representative for the Pebush constituency. Welcome her on stage, ladies and gentlemen. I know you want to hear the news I got for you. Lakia up next and she bad for you. Young people time now, we doing something new. So you don't know December 6th, this what the shoe. I doesn't bleed yellow. We know. Having devoted his life to serving people in various ways, it was only fitting that he entered politics and served at the highest level. His constituency is better today because of his hard work. 
Dominica's agricultural sector is more resilient today because of its tireless work. Tonight, I want us to welcome on stage the best choice for the Wesley constituency, Fidel Grant. Fidel Grant, oh Papa God, the best candidate in the island. Wesley man, man, Wesley woman, I tell you that this man has a master plan. Well, I am left to introduce one more person. I will simply say that that person is scared. I hold you very close to my heart. Come on, you, my dearest, I cannot cry. I think of you everywhere I go. I always long to come back to you. When you're Ladies and gentlemen, when you watch these candidates on stage and you will be introduced to the others again tomorrow in St. Joseph, you can say safely that Dominica is in safe hands and that from the look of things, and that from the look of things, we're talking about another 10 straight terms for the Dominican Labour Party. Yeah, Labour's the best choice. You can talk and make your life. Labour's the best choice.